to hit rocks until I find the entrance. Oh no, that's the whole thing. Yeah, you just sit around and you hit rocks till you find ones that are shiny or the exit. I tried here in RuneScape. I don't know why I complained. Uh, that's a weird game. I don't, I, don't know. I need to stop playing. <laughs> I always complain about it. You do. You're like, this is boring and a grind. And then you're like, yeah, but I played all day. I'm like, why? why? I do now. It's because, like I said, it's a, it's kind of like a cookie cutter game. You're just uh, a cookie clicker. Yeah, but so don't do it. <laughs> yeah, and you sit up there and you grind out all these levels. I don't. I stop if I don't want to play something. <laughs> so you can watch your Netflix and... Okay, so you're not even really playing at that point. Watch documentary on murderers or whatever. You can do that while you murder enemies. Oh god. You collect. I'm, this is one of those games. It is one of if those you were games. You're playing alone. Yeah. I'm gonna go with co-op definitely has like a sanity advantage here. Have something to bounce off each other. Yeah. And like we won't get caught up in trying to get absolutely everything done, because there's really no point to that. Yeah. Hundred percent completion. You be what they mean by like eight hours in you get completed? Does that mean does that mean you're getting all the bundles or like what? Um, I don't know. It depends. Usually, like I wasn't expecting you to hit the bottom of this for a while, but you just yeah, did it, like, no, right I just off. did it. Yeah. It wasn't like super hard either. There were no boss fights or anything like that that kept me like back. And, like, I complain about, like, oh, these enemies shoot fire, but, like, they're not really difficult. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Barely do any damage, or at least, I guess, I'm on level 18, so it's Yeah, level cool. 18. I'm on 118 right now, and they definitely do a lot of damage, but if you don't get hit, it's, you don't really notice. Which, that's, like, some Dark Souls strategy right there. The game is easiest when you don't get hit. I mean, you know, simple as that. Dodge and use your invincibility frames well. You're good. Yeah, if, if you just don't get hit, it's easy. I don't, I don't know how else to explain that to you plebs. Uh, <laughs> you know. I only won the first game by parry, so... Yeah, I just like to take something really heavy and just bonk people with it. Also, I didn't know how I was going to beat. Yeah. Pairing. I don't have. Yeah, I had no clue. Yeah. Um, also, it's 1030, so you should probably start heading home if you're not. The exit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Where's the Good exit? Idea. Are you already in bed? Nope, I'm running home. I'm making the Kessel run. Yours is gonna be really close. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it. That would be. Is there no I wish I knew what the conversion was. For what? Is it like five seconds per? Ten minutes or how does that work? Yeah, it's it must be ten seconds. Per... Ten seconds, yeah. Which is really fast for video games. Like most games are a lot more lenient than that. This game has a curfew, dude. Yeah, it does. Like you sure as hell better be home in time, or I swear to God, I'm killing you. You know. <laughs> Doja Mart will come. I swear to God, life. you'll never have more. You'll never have any more energy in your entire life. <laughs> yeah, you're just crippled for life if now. If you don't go to sleep. Congratulations. Yeah. Like, oh my god. 
Now we have farther to walk, too. Doesn't that suck? That's what, yeah, the <laughs> stupid bed moved, and now it's like an extra 10 seconds to get to it. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's like bullshit. <laughs> sure is. Great, I call this a downgrade. <laughs> well, can, can you pick up your bed? I like and winter, just move though. It? Yeah, winter's nice. Mostly because I, I hate watering. No, you can't. I just tried. Unless there's a secret I don't yeah. know about. Yeah, uh, because you hate water. Yeah, that was probably, like, not my favorite part of the game. frozen and you can punch it, or what? I don't know. I gotta go see Dipstick the Blacksmith. Oh, I don't want to offer it. Get out of the way, Francis. Sorry. Jesus. I need five ores. Crap, let's go. I didn't get that many. The yellow chest has all the ore. Because that's the important chest. Start smelting. Okay. If you want to build more smelts, go ahead. Because co copper ore is so common. Common, it's trash. Kind of. That uh, wine jug is still just going, just chugging along. If there is such a thing as blackberry wine. Um, Alright, we're going to do one of those Rocks Life Let's Play Google searches that I like to do. There's huckleberry wine, isn't there? But I wonder if that's just... Regular wine, maybe tastes like blueberry. Yeah, maybe I'm poor. I don't know. Fresh blackberries, or two quarts of blackberry puree, um, creates blackberry wine. Hey. So there you go. Yeah, it's a type of red wine, obviously. I figured the wines were just strictly grape. There's lots of. Nah, this is like. weird wine. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, you got tons of iron, too. Yeah, we need Smelt it. it all. Smelt it all. Smelt it all. Smelt it all. Even if we can't make many of the quality sprinklers, we can still make tons of the regular ones. I think we should only make the quality ones. And call me crazy. I have to get tons of. Oh, you got tons of quartz too. Huh? I know. So smelt it down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get cracking. It's my job today. Yeah. Basically. And Don't yeah, feel free to make ladies. even more of those god dang things. Whatever the hell they're called. Turn order definitely takes longer. Just yes, I think it might. Clint, you bastard. Let me smell Indeed. my stuff. Or whatever, geodes looking things. Copper ore. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> I can't make more furnaces. Are we out? My bad. Oh, did That's you the smell all the copper ore? <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright. That's alright. That's funny. Um, well, then, that's, there. today we'll have to go and get more copper ore. I'll get some of that too, so we have just an ice load of it. That iron ore definitely takes a longer time. Yes. So, uh, yes, it does. It's all. He's here for some flowers. This quartz stick. Now I gotta go to the museum and drop off my crap. Hey, buddy. Look at all these fancy things I got. Get ready for the treasure hall here. The bottom left? Yeah, I'm gonna donate so many weird things you've never heard of. Nah, no, it didn't pop up for me. For an artifact. 
There's my crazy rocks for the day. Did you watch E3? Did I watch E3? No, but I read everything that there will be. Oh, are you a big uh, Skyrim fan? Big? No. I played through all of it because I make poor decisions. I like it enough. You didn't like it? I Yeah, it's okay. I like it, I guess. It's okay. Did you have fun playing it? Yeah, I guess. I have mixed feelings about it. How about that? That's right. Yeah. Skyrim? That's the first time I've heard that. Anybody say that? Yeah. I got. I mean, pretty... It's not the best game ever, but. No, yeah. it's definitely not. I have a pretty strong like love hate relationship with it. It's okay. Is there a reason? No, it's just it. Well, yeah. There's a lot of reasons. Um, you know. Because it's a buggy master. Yeah, it's I, it's kind of a crappy game, you know. But I played like 150 hours of it, and then I was like, "Why did I do that?" But it must have been okay if I played that long, you know. But also, I regretted it immediately after, so I don't really know. But they are making another one. Regretted it immediately. <laughs> they decided to make Skyrim Six, which is cool. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm asking about. Yeah. How'd you feel about Skyrim? Skyrim, I guess. I mean, I beat it. Okay. I'm not like you seem pretty lukewarm too, man. I got it. But, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there you go. It's kind of a mediocre game, really. I don't know if I get it. It's you know, it's kind of on par with like. How Far Cry makes you feel? Yeah, I'm with you. You on that. play it because it wastes time. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, it's kind of a filler video game. Not like not enjoying it. It's just like you don't hate it. I think what, <laughs> what, it's hard to tell. <laughs> hard to explain it. But yeah, it's just it's so neutral. I think what really kicked it in the head for me too is I played Dark Souls for the first time right after finishing Skyrim. It's like such a world of difference that it just kind of ruins Skyrim for me retroactively. Because, you know, Skyrim has... Like the combat? And Assassin's Creed does the same thing for the one I'm playing. This is more like an RPG. Yeah. It has that kind of difficulty that just... If you make it harder on yourself, it's literally just everybody does way more damage. Yeah, it only has no art how artificial many difficulty. It just increases the numbers of yeah. everything, which no is stupid. How many skills a trick you do, you, you have to cheat it. You know, you have yeah. to cheat it. It's stupid. But, like, rather than making it harder, it is, um, the numbers are just not as good. They're just more bad. It's like, oh, alright. It just feels like a waste. It's the same as Assassin's Creed. It's just like... Trying... Yeah. If you do like normal, it's like you get a couple hits in before you die. If you're fighting like a boss, if you're playing a nightmare like I am, it's just like you die instantly. So if you mess up once, you know, <laughs> right. it's that kind of artificial difficulty. Yeah. Perfectly, and you have to cheese it. I just love firing arrows at people from a thousand feet away around the corner. That's my favorite trick. <laughs> That's basically all I did in <laughs> Skyrim. Yeah. But yeah, in Assassin's Creed, you can <laughs> control the arrow in midair. Oh, good. You hold down the <laughs> right click when you shoot, and it goes. Wasn't it Bulletstorm that it came up with that? I don't. Pretty sure. Okay. And you just find their head, and they die. Because <laughs> like Bulletstorm, if, if they're really tough enemies. <laughs> Two arrows. Bullet Storm had a sniper yeah. rifle where you could shoot it and then just fly the bullet around. But like the game would give you tons of extra points if you could hit people in like the balls and stuff. And people seem to like that. Hey. <laughs> oh, like why would <laughs> it's so, like the same and why did they put like a ball cam and like sniper what is it called? Sniper, sniper Warrior? Or whatever. Sniper Warrior. I like that a lot more. 
Sniper <laughs> warrior. Sniper warrior. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an axe in one hand. You're like sniping Hitler, and you shoot him in the balls. It's like this is supposed to be super serious, but you're just like literally sniping Hitler in the balls. <laughs> is there more serious a mission that has ever been undertaken than shooting Hitler in the balls? <laughs> that's about as legit as it gets. Oh my God, there he goes yeah, in the one ball. Much. I don't know, but whatever. Yeah. Single testy. Uh, I remember, oh, there was this hunting game, this Cabela's hunting Duck game hunt. on oh. the Xbox 360. Me and my cousin always, it wasn't Duck Hunt. <laughs> no, we I actually know. hunted ducks. Yeah, no, I got you. Oh. But you, I think you could hunt duck. Or duck <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah. You could, you could actually do that in that game too, <laughs> just slightly. It made no sense. <laughs> that is seems not No, like... it wasn't that. You can control it, but you could um what we used to do is it was like a huge map and you actually had to go hunting and you know, like you had to mask your scent and stuff like that. I but all I we did was game. like arm and you get that perk where you can see the bullet travel through the air. Okay, you so can't you can control just watch it. it. You look for where the elk are and the the woods and then you shoot <laughs> from like a mile away and just watch it hit him right in the face because it doesn't have bullet drop in that game so for a realistic hunting game really i feel like Hot it shot. should <laughs> yeah. huh. Hot shots from like the starting area just to see that's funny camera bullets go nah, nah, nah. Freaking that game was weird though because like some missions it'd be like basically fight this bear it's like what that's what i remember is it would be like that it's like have a shotgun and now you're in like a bear boss fight it's like really bizarre like this isn't really a hunting <laughs> so game it's just kind of like an fps that's stupid <laughs> freaking strange just get like a doom yeah double da -da, da -da, da -da. Off shotgun. <laughs> cabela's cabela's brand super shotgun <laughs> Super shotgun. Da -da -da. Available in stores now. Oh. Yeah, New Doom is great. If we're going hunting in Montana, it's like. Da -da 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 -da. What also, are you doing? You should leave the mine. You just right like now. pull out this freaking sawed off shotgun. <laughs> you should be like running what? home if you're not. I'm smelting work, so uh, I'm oh, home. You never even came to the mine? I thought, okay. I thought you came. Trevor Smelt. Yeah, I guess. I just assumed. We're up to about 11 super sweepers. Excellent. I got some more um, copper for you, so you should be able to get a new furnace. Sweet. Yes. Hey, copper. It's getting late. No. Getting late. Where are you coming from? The right. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. It's got my iridium Ready. bars already. <laughs> Could be an old parody video of just go to sleep. Is it because I'm holding spaghetti? God. <laughs> you can't bed. sleep with spaghetti. It says right in the song. Mom, spaghetti. It's ready. You better never let it go. Just never right let there. the spaghetti go? Or? Yeah. Huh. In that parody version. Oh, yeah. I kind of want the next backpack upgrade. How much does that cost? Cost what? I kind of want the next backpack upgrade. Oh. You know? Do we have to make it? No, we gotta buy it from Pierre. But I, I, I wonder how much it is. 
I'm gonna check. Right. Put the copper on the chest. I'll go check. I'm putting everything in. Dude, I could. Everything that's relevant, rather. Oh, can you give that to somebody? Flower. But I'm sure people like all of Um, yeah, why the hell not? Earned two hundred and twenty seven hundred thousand. Have a craving for green algae, Alex. Oh. What the hell? Oh, I could really go for some green algae. Mm, he must be one of those goddamn vegans. I'm gonna go fish that up right now for you. I just heard your fishing pole. Exploosh. What's up? What's up? It's not green algae. <laughs> My fish. What does it look like? The what? What does it look like I'm doing? Just Is it just... Yeah, just fishing. I'm pulling on it? Yeah. No, not even. It doesn't animate when you're doing that. It just goes. Alright, and it's Pierre's time. Tell me how much the backpack is. It's 10,000. Can we both just buy one? Yeah, definitely. The deluxe That's jump pack. change. I'd yeah, rather. that is. Alright, now I can carry all the crap that I find with me. Alright, and I'm out. Alright, better say hi to Abigail as long as I'm in here. Where you at? I don't have a deluxe one. Maya? Or Abigail? <clears throat> a thousand G's. Oh. Basically announces when we walk in. Hey, it's the farmer, Mitch the Mage. <laughs> Hey, he has hot big money cash dollar wads coming in to spend them. I mean, we basically we basically fund Pierre's store at this point. Like he's got to make You're like fifty percent of all his profits are just on us coming in and blowing twenty k in a morning. I like walk in. Pull out a fat stack and just start like raining it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that backpack. <laughs> and it's all in tens too. It's like twenty thousand dollars <laughs> made up of tens. So you're just chucking wads <laughs> of bills at his head. You can eat a stick, Pierre. <laughs> yeah, you like kick the door open. Yo, what up? <laughs> What's I good, my back. bro? Uh <laughs> it's just like go to Jojo Mart. I don't want this business anymore. <laughs> just go to Jojo Mart. <laughs> just go I'll... somewhere else. Yeah. Isn't he going out of business though? He's gonna run out of business. Yeah. What? Isn't he going out of business? Cause he, cause Jojo Mart's cheaper or whatever. Are there? Villagers are like saying that though. Yeah. Which make, doesn't make any sense if everybody wants to go to his thing. I don't know. I don't really get it either. Maybe it's one of those things where like people say they like peers just to say it, but like in reality they go to the cheaper place because people are freaking cheapskates. They just sort of pretend to support local business because it's easy to say that. Yeah. That's the problem. I don't, we don't, I guess we have one local business that's a grocery store here, but. Yeah, poor. but like, I'm a poor person, so I go to the, like, Walmart. <laughs> like, I don't know. Exactly. So, that's what I'm saying. It's not. Yeah. 
a membership card just for normal prices. It's really dumb. Yeah. That's how they get you. It kind of like showed you how much savings you made on the <laughs> you know, thing up stuff with your club membership or whatever. And it's just like, yeah, that's literally just the normal prices of Walmart. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, cash in register. Case, in case the soda is like nine dollars, but if you have the club membership, it's like eight fifty. Uh, like at Walmart, I can buy it for like seven dollars. Yeah. <laughs> And they have more, like, different kinds. It's tough. And they have way more stuff. Yeah. I can get my oh, soap there, too, is. you know? Or whatever. I don't know why soap. I'm just thinking of soap. Sure, again. you're not a me either. Yeah. I'm almost out of health. I swear to God, this freaking mine. You ever had tofu? Uh, yeah, it was nasty, but apparently it's really good for you. I didn't like it. I don't know. It was nasty. Yeah. I and Chinese dishes, and that's it. And they made it taste good, so. Yeah. I didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, I just ate it straight, which is probably not right. Um. That's probably the most horrible way you can eat it. Yeah. It Does was it actually good. have a taste, or is it just like bland? I don't know. It was just like a nasty mushy cube of white. Yeah, I think it was more just like, just t texture, gross, not good, not food. <laughs> Human brain alarm bells um, setting off. Everybody that's always like came up to me and go, say like, oh, you should go vegan. I'm like, that makes no sense. Well, yeah, there's a lot it of good reasons too. Good. too. Oh, yeah. I generally like the thing I hand Montana. back. Montana, you cannot go vegan. <laughs> the thing I push back is usually once they <laughs> have synthetic meat, because factory farming is like bad or whatever, you know. Like it's it's pretty atrocious. So once they have the synthetic meat, I tell my vegan friends that I'm all aboard. You just gotta make me some fake meat out of protein, then I'm with you. But I do, I like to eat meat, and also, you know, it's got all the healthy proteins and whatnot that you kind of want in it. So generally good for you. Eat pork chops. Also, it says holly is poisonous. So, there you go. What do you mean by that? <laughs> like, I picked up some holly off the ground, and it's like, it's poisonous. Don't eat this. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, I don't know if I should give this to somebody, or... Because it's holly. Yeah, what if they, like, shove it in their mouth, though? <laughs> <laughs> like Abigail? <laughs> yeah. You can't trust her to Thank take you. things. She just oh. eats them, and it's like, oh my god, no, and wait, not that. And then, yeah, so, she's dangerous. Mistletoe. This should be mistletoe in this game. Is it mistletoe? Just roll it like above your head, just like this. Like, looks like you need to kiss me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's fucking you. Yeah. Yeah. Get leave me. Yeah. Perfect. I'm about to do something really terrible too in here. Um, get to commit a war crime. Sweet Jesus, that's awful. Oh. I changed one of my walls and it's basically like the most horrible thing ever. Um <laughs> there are so many decorations. I bought pizza wallpaper. <laughs> oh no no <laughs> I jump on it. Did that hurt you? Uh, yeah, I jumped on it like a grenade for my training um, in the war. Like, offer Francis the cherry bomb? I was like, no, I want to set it off. <laughs> oh, it's like pizza. It's Isn't that like the most disgusting thing you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine walking into a place like that? I'd want to throw up every time I went in my room. It's so terrible.
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your fancy quartz is done. Let's see here. No <laughs> uh. What's that? Don't worry about any hat that might be stolen. Yeah, that's I was at 9.30, I guess I could go to bed. A quartz only takes like one instead of like... Yes, where did I make that go? Okay. You can start making shrinklers, right? Um, yeah. I don't know if there's a point to it, but I guess. Oh, that's. We need gold bars, too. Crap. I was doing copper. Well, we have lots of gold bars. I shouldn't have smelled all that. Well, now we have some. I mean. We all that copper, though. Yeah. It can only help. Oh, am I what holding up the chest? Thing? Sorry. Um. Uh, Oh yeah, you have 80 gold ore. Nice. Yeah, there's quite a bit. We have about 16 quality sprinklers right there. That's a lot. Gold. Crap, it's 11.20 p.m. Is it? Crap. I was so enticed by reading through the crafting menu and all the different things I could be building instead of sitting around. What if I have to buy like cooking recipes for fish? <laughs> just take the fish. You don't even need to scale it or gut it or anything. Just like freaking Put it on the pan. Aren't there cultures where they eat the scales? I think I've heard of that. Maybe? That sounds gross. Well, I'm not saying I do it, but... Imagine getting stabbed in the gums with one of those scales. Uh. <laughs> like, it just goes right up there, like... <laughs> Stop! Your gums are hidden. Uh. Like a popcorn kernel, but big in a fish scale. Sweet Jesus, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Mentioned it. Yeah, I know. I did. I take responsibility yeah, I, for my actions. I have an unusual request. Could you to a secret? Oh, I yeah, want you I to know. deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stone. Tell her it's from me. You're moving up on my girl. It's her, isn't that her dad? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they live in the same house? I swear she he's her father. It has to be because he was the main dude. Yeah. In that custody. So I'm guessing, yeah, that must be his father. How do you even tell? I just, I just, you just have to be really good at the game, and then it just comes naturally. <laughs> you have to understand the game, I guess. Yeah. Also, what happened to that weird, like, black guy we saw? Not real black guy, because they get, like, lynched in Stardew Valley, but, like, that weird shadow sprite who ran across the road, and then we never saw him again. So I'm confused about. We gotta find him. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if, like, I missed something on that. It's just one of our quests. We just gotta find that black guy. Okay, but not a real black guy because again, I just feel like like this. Find <laughs> that. There's Demetrius, but he's not like a black. He's like mixed brown. Like. Like caramel. Yeah, he's a, he's a caramel roast. I don't think he counts. And uh, th didn't we say Pam blamed all the crimes on him? <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Oh, God. <laughs> or horrible people. Uh, I think it's Pam is a horrible person. Terrible. I, I'm not doing anything terrible. wrong. Uh, oops, there goes some money. <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> what? Like 6,000? Yeah, I just upgraded my watering can to silver. I recommend you do the same. Tell me how that goes. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, as long as it's winter time, we might as well upgrade our, like, watering cans and whatnot. What should it take? Five silver bars and $5,000. Or should it take? Sorry. Five bars? Five bars? And, like, iron bars? Yeah, iron bars. Or silver, whatever the hell. Freaking white-looking things. I had my lights off today because it was hot, um, but now it's like pitch black in here. Oh, give me one second. <laughs> Long hair, rooting with like. Let there be light. Metal on at all times. <sighs> all right, what's up? Your style though, you're like sitting in your room, pitch black, doom metal on. <laughs> And I just looked around and I'm like, I can't see a god dang thing. <laughs> this isn't right. I don't like being in the dark and looking at a screen isn't is good a, for your eyes. That's bad for you. I've agreed with Haley. Wow. Okay. As a... As a... She likes to sleep 10 hours a day. I also like to sleep as much as possible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Weird people. What are you? I like to sleep two hours a day. Um. Yeah, man. I, just, I like to get up early because it makes me feel good and productive. It does? Fifty percent of the time for me. Okay. Sometimes I get up and I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for this day. And then others, I'm like, I'm just gonna sleep. Okay, right. So, it's different for me. Yeah, so you, but you get it then, because I try and do that every day, and I'm like, this feels great, I'm doing the dishes at, you know, 6 o'clock, woo! <laughs> I can just imagine that. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> woo! It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> Watching heavy metal, just woo! Yeah, woo! Oh, listening to Dio, that's your morning, your breakfast Dio. And just the dishes. Freaking, that's a good time. Oh, man! <laughs> uh. He has drops, but you know he's clean. <laughs> All that I love. All that I love. The old survivor. When are you doing another Rocksmith stream? That was my favorite one. Jeez. You gonna watch that? Did I, I? I caught the best parts. I watched the highlight reel. Shit. It's not super popular, but it's. Um. Yeah, like. Great. Yeah. Like. Hard. <laughs> A hero where you have the same layout no matter what. It's just like now you have an actual guitar and you gotta play power metal at the right speed. <laughs> so you're telling me Rocksmith is actually. That's why I was like, oh, I'm dying. You're telling me Rocksmith is harder than Stardew Valley. Because that's a bold claim. The 
both long grinds. <laughs> Depending on what you mean. Yeah, fair enough. Like, if Rocksmith is a long grind of learning how to play the guitar to you, then yes. Um, I feel like I'm. I'll answer that for you. Yes, Rocksmith is much harder than. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a skill. Like that's a real life skill. That takes like practice. Hey, babe, um, if you really want to know how to play the songs, you gotta like uh, Rocksmith. Yeah. You won't know how to play it afterwards unless you. Just because the visuals I missing, don't. then? Like, is it just because... Yeah, you see the... It's kind of like when you play it the, for the first time, you're playing it like a rock, smith, or a rock band game. Or guitar okay. Hero. So you're not necessarily memorizing it, you're just hitting them as they pop up. Interesting. Like, if you really work on it, it gets yeah. ingrained in your memory. Yeah. Like, um, I use that to learn Deadly Sinners by Return to the Blood. Take your word for it. Yeah. Have you heard. Do you know that band? It's awesome. What band? Three Inches of Blood? No. That's a lot of blood, but no. It's not what you think it is. It's not like super hardcore metal, but it's like it's just awesome. It's definitely heavy metal at its heart. Interesting. It's not what you think it is. It's not like yeah. it does sound a little bit like a Swedish like dying fetus or something. It's really... actually an older band. They're just people from Canada. Oh. Well, there you go. Canadians, nice. And their music. Playing like music from Necro Gobacon. Smith is really fun. Interesting. You know that if you know that band. No, I'll take your word for it. I don't. You must listen. I say this to everyone, but you you listen to more music than I do. I'm sure. It's weird because you seem to know a lot of the bands that I do. That's like really like rare. <laughs> the amount of people I know who listen to power metal are freaking slim. But yeah, I've only met about three. Yeah, including you. I feel like I go and to like... one was so weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. I worry about that. It was so weird. I'm just like sitting in college, <laughs> and I was playing my guitar, and I hear Eagle Heart by Stradivarius down the hall, and I'm like, wait a minute, are you serious? Yeah, I recognize Stradivarius. <laughs> There it goes. Like what? What? <laughs> How? <laughs> and I walk in and I'm like, uh, that's Eagle Heart, right? From Star Various? And he's like, yeah, I love Power Metal. I'm like, this exists? People know this? <laughs> it was so weird. Because, you know, normally when you say Power Metal, people think Black Metal. Like, yeah, right off the bat. Yeah. People who know nothing think black metal. People who know a little bit usually think like, ah, you're a nerd, you know. Which is true, but not related. Like, other uh, metal communities. I mean, I can't deny to... that either, because like... I know. We've been playing Stardew Valley for four hours, so I don't make any claims <laughs> for myself on that front. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I literally discovered power metal and I was playing War World of Warcraft and it fit right in. So like I can't I can't dispel the claims. Yeah, there you go. I'm not gonna say it's mostly a nerdy metal because it's not if you actually listen to it. It definitely has no. fantasy theme. Yeah, it just it just has a strong fantasy but, um, feel with it. I listen to to it more just by itself now. I've been listening to a lot more bands. Like, there's this band called Master Plan. If you heard of that. No. It used to be so cheesy to me, but now I'm like, God, this is awesome. Hmm. Really it's just like, like the typical power metal where it's like, yeah, we're saving the world. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah. 
That's like I think Dream Evil's a good example. <laughs> like, like they pretend first you're like to be cheesy, you know, but then they're actually like pretty good. Yeah, yeah with like their self conscious songs like The Book of Heavy Metal, that kind of stuff. Yeah. They're definitely like, Yeah, this is what you but yeah. uh Their songs are like that. There's Every metal is for everyone. <laughs> I think funny. it's called Freedom Call. The band is. That's a super cheesy band. Awesome. It takes like, oh, we're friends and we're friends till the end to the like to the extreme. <laughs> like it's just a jolly power metal band. <laughs> it's jolly as hell. Uh. That's funny. Wow, cheesy power metal. Totally. Ah, oh, it's I'm getting Pierre. Cutscene. Yep. Yeah. It's not. We're not even halfway through the month, are we? Still, we're almost three fourths done with the year. Ah, he's got new seeds. Alright. Thanks, Pierre. I have one new variety per season? Like, seriously? That doesn't sound like a lot. Well. You're so evil, dude. Yeah, I know. He's still pissed off. I wouldn't even bother mind. trying to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> them goddamn commie seeds. Anyway. Oh, the Festival of Ice is tomorrow. The wine's done. Oh, is it? Wine. You got a go. bottle of wine. Freaking spectacular. Make some more. Here we are. On the right path. <laughs> the path of success. Oh, we're gathering in front of Marty's house for the Festival of Ice. Yeah. There's an ice fishing competition. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I think I got someone I know who can shine in that. Yeah. You? Huh? <laughs> no. Not at all. Nah, you got that, man. You're all over that. Importantly, it's Sunday. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> What day it is, Francis? I don't know days. I just freaking <laughs> am. Go over to me. It's this day. No, I don't. Oh, uh, yeah, it's spaghetti time. Get ready. It's coming. We get to play spaghetti every day. It's, uh, Haley. It's. <laughs> Let's spend the spaghetti wheel. <laughs> Who gets spaghetti today? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Spaghetti. <laughs> I said in the freaking bed because it's a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> Get a job. What did I say? Oh. We'll have a nice hot place <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> I thought you would like that. I will say, let me tell you about horrible things. Watching this game in the winter while being sitting here in like the boiling hot is kind of like weird and cruel and unusual punishment. Like, cause I feel hot, but I'm looking at snow, and it's it's just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it weird for you? It, it hurts. Uh, it's a little painful. I like even digitized snow. Uh, yeah. Well, it's just mocking me. It's just flat out. It's just mocking me. Ooh, look at all this lovely cold snow you can't have. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Ah, oh, I forgot to... Mm. Right. Like a crocus? Or a salad? I'll, I'll give you a salad. 
<laughs> I bet you're feeling positive energy from that game. I'm getting good vibes from this. Mm. Good vibes. You have ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't she be like reading a book in the outside, sitting on the ground? What is wrong with you, Penny? Penny's legit. Like she knows what's up. You're getting a flower today, cause you're just hardcore. Half my ice flower. Hardcore parkour. Here we go. I know she didn't just say that to you, but Oops. I like to think she just said that to you. I on the ground. Hardcore parkour. Hardcore parkour. Also, bloody, um, none of the water seems to be freezing. Do you think it will later, later in the winter, or do you think it just doesn't freeze? Freezes? The well? The water? Like, I, I was hoping to, like, rip ass across the lake covered in ice, but then it's not covered in ice. I don't think it's going to cover nice. <laughs> so I'm just disappointed to be completely honest with you. Speaking of that, the, the seasons never really change? I don't think so. I guess, but why couldn't they just like switch out the water texture with an ice one and then you could just zoom zoom zoom? I'd love to see that, just like walk into the left and I just see you like go down all the way. <laughs> yeah, just, just, whoosh. here we go. So that's disappointing. Mm. Now Leah cutscene. Ooh, a Leah cutscene. She's Wait, chopping Leah. everything up with the axe. Well, she's a madman. Yeah. Woman. She was yelling on the phone. She doesn't want to go back to the city. Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting so close to her. Holy crap. Like, know. personally or physically? Like right in her face. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was like at the door, and I kept creeping closer every time she talked. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go, 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 go. She left her other boyfriend. It was, uh... Wow, there's a lot of options here. Holy crap. Ooh. Have fun navigating those waters. <laughs> no, it had to be done. No, your ex sounds like an idiot. No, but it would have been better off staying in the city. Yeah, a little. Yeah, but it's natural <laughs> to care about yourself first. Oh, God. I would go <laughs> what no. What do I pick? Right? No is definitely the first, like, the first part, right? You don't want to say she should have stayed Three in the Three no's. Boyfriend. Yeah. Idiot, but that sounds like it'd be a bad idea. It does sound like you're being a little forward. On the other hand, if you think that's what she thinks, then maybe she'll like you. So, that's a toss up. Say a hearty no, it had to be done. <laughs> sounds like Geralt from The Witcher. <laughs> had to be done. Had to be done. Gotta be. To have a friend. Then I got friends on. That's all. <laughs> Crap. Well, I was coming to give you a beer. Now, where'd you go? This will cheer you up. You left during your freaking cutscene. Oh, that's bull crap. But I totally agree. It does that. Freaking cheating, Stardew Valley doesn't follow the, its own rules. God damn. Have to. If you stand in front of them, they run faster around you. It's insane. Yeah, I know they just. And they go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I do that pretty much on command, so. Yeah. You got your beer. Have a beer. Calm down. It's going to be okay. We'll visit. In his house, see if the cutscene was already done. Freaking Mitch, let's get another beer in you, the mage over here. 
<laughs> How old are you? 17? That's about drinking age, I'd say. I mean, come on. Just take a sip. You know you want to. Hard to tell, like, how old these people are. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> Penny has a teacher's guidebook in her room. Listen, off. I think she was old enough for that. I asked her if she was an adult, and she didn't say no, so that's pretty much, like, double consent, if you think about it. Um, you know. It has five axes with blood on them. I'm pretty sure her ex is dead. She's in the cabin in the woods all alone. She did kill her ex, which so is So let like, me give her a couple of beers. Yeah, once I, once you kill someone, I think you're exempt from, like, drinking laws, is, is the law in most places. Like, oh, did you commit murder? Yeah, you don't have to. You can drink. That's fine. You know. The law recognizes that you're a badass. Yeah, <laughs> a badass. The way That's you killed that person, <laughs> that was pretty badass. <laughs> oh, you murdered him. That was freaking cool. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Um, oh, drink whatever the hell you want. Yeah, oh, yeah, just go ahead, whatever. Nothing. God dang mistletoe looking bastards aren't even real mistletoe. Um no point. Really, why do you lock your door so early? Everyone locks doors at nine, I think. Well eight. At least stay at least out. Oh, alright, or eight. Shame if somebody watched you through the window. <laughs> that sure would be a shame. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it belongs in this game. That stupid crow that always flies across. Yeah. This looks like an evil beast. Yeah. It scares me every time. It's kind of weird. Where you at? In bed? Yeah, now I am. Just laying in bed? You, you want to talk about it? <laughs> I had a hard day. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty bad here on the farm. Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I ran out of energy. I was at zero, so I was like, okay. Also, like, I can tell from what you're saying when you're coming home. Like, it becomes clear when you're running out of things to do. Yeah. Um, oh, I, you could, I got another wine thing, so you can throw a thing in. Oh, yeah. Like pale ale. And actually, I think I'm going to have one more, so just hold your horses. Uh, what did you put in for pale ale? I don't know. So fruit, maybe? Pale fruit. Do you have any pale fruit? That's another one. Wait. Okay. Let me think. An actual fruit? No, I'm just being annoying. Um. Should we meditate? Like, is there any way to figure this out besides just trying literally everything? Meditation. Just yeah. Just meditate pale ale and see what comes up. Cause I don't really want to try literally everything until we get to it. Has the highest profit of any crop using the keg. But what do you need to do it? Need hops. Of course, you need hops. Oh, you need hops. That's from hop stars. You need hops. Windows. Okay, so then we can't make pale ale till spring. Rose in the, rose in the summer. Oh, well, so we need to wait till summer. Fantastic. Fun, 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 fun. Super duper. 
All right, well, I guess throw I'll some more. I'll just make yeah. all the wine we can drink. Throw some more in there. We'll just make a nice little wine thing, and that'll be our little alcohol fun. Open the rest of the gold. Oh, oh, I forgot about the festival. Oh, I I to <laughs> totally <laughs> forgot about that. Just, I was like, time to cut down trees today and all this stuff. And then, no, we got to go look at people with ice sculptures. Freaking thing. Yeah. Uh, ice fishing. Yeah, ice fishing. Oh, yeah, I want you to win that and give me a trophy for my house. So, get in there. Put it in your house, too, because I want you to know how cool I am. Yeah. That's why when you get Waiting awards, you. you, like, put them in people's houses. Oh, wait, I thought we had to go to town. Did we not? We're going to Marnie's Ranch. Really? I'm dumb and I don't listen, so I need you to tell me these kinds of simple things. All right, I'm coming. I said, said it's happening at Marnie's Ranch. Oh, yeah, so I, I can't read down. either. Okay, here we go. It's so... <laughs> it's yeah, what's up, late? Uh... Viking girlfriend. I couldn't believe you just missed a name. God dang, dude. And Pernan. Are even better. Of course you're making a sculpture. Yeah, she's probably great, though. With all the girls. Wait, where really, the chicks at? Oh, there's some ice. Is Abigail? Ah, there she is. She made a snowman. Of course she did. Talk like a child, Haley. Yeah, she kind of does. Should we make? Yeah, options. All right, did you read Clint's dialogue? Because it makes me uncomfortable and I don't get it. <laughs> what? Uh, Freaking Clint's uh, dialogue. Where is he? Oh. I don't understand their relationship. I, what the hell is, is, is that? Is that flirtatious? Did you see his face? I know. know. It it what? sounds flirtatious, what? but like she's got to be he's got to be like twice her age. I don't even Emily uh, started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean like it sounds like something you'd say like you, you like, really have to make her like help you or like what is it? Like are we are sure? You trying to be flirtatious? <laughs> Are we sure he's her dad? Like, he's her dad? That's what I'm wondering now. Oh, God. I still haven't given her an amethyst. Neither have I. And I have an amethyst. I'm just lazy that. Yes, I can't give it to her right now, but... How do I get this thing started? I don't know. I assume we gotta talk to Mayor Lewis, because he seems to be important. Um, don't just I, uh, run start left. it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, yeah. It'd be you and me competing. Let me talk to her. You might have to talk to him. I'm not sure. Okay, I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is. I'm ready to compete. compete. Are you already competing? I had to wait for you to... Oh, alright. Oh, cool. oh, here we go. <clears throat> oh. oh, I don't have a fishing pole. I hope they me? give us one, because I didn't bring mine. <laughs> I sure they do. Okay. Oh, provided fishing rods. All right. Ah. Amy it in it's kind of hard yeah I know I heard nobody ever beats Willie you'll see my frustration with fishing oh, I think it's terrible and I hate it so like you're doing pretty good I can't even land mine in the freaking hole so there you go a uh, Cola Freaking fish sits at the bottom. Doesn't want to move. God, this mini game sucks. I'm 
I'm sitting here tapping my mouse like a moron to this terrible music. What's my life come to? <laughs> it's farm music. I know it's like very farm music. It's very farm music. This is not my favorite. All right, I don't think I'm gonna win this. Oh, if I'm gonna win this. I got algae. That's just stupid. Give it to Max. Or, I think that's who I wanted it. Give it to Max. I got you some Super algae. For that freaking... <laughs> I could really use some green algae. I right could now. really right. use some You want me to fish that up from the depths of the ocean? Alright. Quick, I'll throw it in your hole. Eh. I <laughs> I thought you crashed the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> All I saw was your pull, then. I'm nervous about that. Got a whole bunch of fish in buckets. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. The smell. The smell. Hey! Big, six big slimy fish. Nice. I'm happy you won that. Got a fishing tackle I can't use. Nice. Oh, we're throwing them all back, huh? Treasures are fishing. However, fish aren't crazy about the taste. Okay. That's it. Nice. At least the fish. What the Stealing everybody's fish. Hey, I caught those fish hard. Oh, God. This fish wins it? That's insane. And that goes my day, but. Sure showed those fish. Yeah. Yeah. I have a magnetic thing. <laughs> 